Welcome to CardioVisual. My name is Tom Blevins with Texas Diabetes and Endocrinology in Austin, Texas. Today we'll be talking about glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists and the increasing need for endocrinologists and cardiologists to work together in managing people with diabetes because the drugs we use have common threads. Kareem, let me ask you a question. The stroke and trial in diabetes with GLP-1. I've got three compounds who decrease stroke and they're significant. Mm -hmm. And then we had sotagliflozin that has an SGLT1 yep. that upregulated the actual incretin that also hit stroke. Yeah, but I, I definitely think it's time. It's interesting when you look at these drugs, these are cardiovascular drugs. These things mm -hmm. hit stroke, they yeah. decrease heart disease, infarctions in some. But it is, it is a fascinating set of compounds. I remember when Steve Marceau did the first one with liraglutide, I was like, wow, surprise me, you know? But they really do work. And then there were some basic science studies in humans giving it for M MIs with the actual TPA. I don't, I, I don't even know why we have less strokes. I mean, the <clears throat> incretin in the head, um, I, 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 don't know how, I don't know how this works. Is that a embolus? Is it, is it coming from the heart or is it actually protecting glial cells in the brain? But it's clearly in all the trials, it keeps coming back at us. It decreases stroke and it's significant. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, the, the semi, as I mentioned earlier, the semaglutide mace reduction was driven by non-fatal stroke. Yeah. And the the trulicity the same way. And frankly, had, had that difference not been present, it may not have met its endpoint of the, the, the major adverse cardiovascular event reduction. The answer is, I don't know. Is it uh, antiarrhythmic? That then somehow it inhibits, uh, you know, the production of embolic phenomena from the heart? Yeah. Is it some direct arterial intimal effect? I don't know. I don't think it's known at all. But yeah, it just it, totally baffles me. And your comment, Bob, about the glial cells sort of opens up a whole new fascinating sort of avenue of research. As you know, GLP-1s are now being looked at for Alzheimer's, and some of that effect based on animal studies is thought to be glial cell related. In the animal studies, um, if you make the rat's brain ischemic, but you give them GLP-1 before that, it protects them from ischemia. Uh, I, I don't know the mechanism, but it, it's absolutely fascinating. And, and I was not aware until recently that it even has a PPAR delta effect, uh, which uh, opens up a whole nother can of worms that I hadn't thought about before looking at the kidney and places like that. So more to come. Thank you very much for listening. Please join us on the CardioVisual app to discuss this and many other important topics. Mm -hmm.